What's going on everybody? Thanks for checking out my Fallout 4 video. In this one I'm going to be showing you three bank locations that are not marked on the map and you can get some pretty decent loot in here. By decent, I mean a crap ton of pre-war money that you can sell for quite a lot of extra cash. Wait, did I say cash? I meant bottle caps. Sorry, I'm a pinhead. You get what I'm saying though. Oh, and of course I can't forget about these gold bars also. They're worth way more than the pre-war money. So for the first one, you want to head to this location right here, the back street apparel around that area. From here, you just want to go around the building, and the first bank location will be right around this area. Then, you just want to go inside, and there will be a master terminal, along with some cash registers that you can loot, with quite a bit of moolah to buy your next girlfriend or boyfriend, you know, whoever you are playing and what you prefer. I don't know if you're gay, straight, bisexual, female, male. I don't even know who's viewing me at the moment. Heck, for all I know, you could be some kind of alien planning to abduct me soon. Anyways, just hack the terminal and get your ass inside. In here, you'll find some safes that you can pick, and there will be also quite a bit of loot in here. Okay, I think that's about wrapping up the first bank location. Now for the next two. So this next one is pretty simple. You're not going to have to hack no crazy terminal to get inside too. So that's some good news for some of you that don't have that hacker skill up. Anyways, come here to the Super Duper Mart. And once you're at the Super Duper Mart, you want to look around for a bank again. And there will be a behemoth here if it's your first time coming here. Anyways, once you have found the unmarked bank, go inside. In this one, you will find out that there was a heist that went wrong. Just, you know, open up this terminal. You're not going to need to hack this one. Thank goodness, I know. Thank goodness for the ones that don't have their hacker skill up. Anyways, once inside, here's where the heist went wrong. As you can see, I mean, I'm no Sherlock Holmes, but it looks as if this skeleton lady was trying to escape because, you know, she's halfway out of this place with a giant hole in the wall of this bank vault. You know, the classic heist look. And on the other side of this wall, you will find a duffel bag. So... Actually, now that I think about it, I don't even think you'll need to go into this bank to get this loot. But, hey, I'm showing you where three bank locations are at. So, yeah. Anyways, take the pre-war money in here. There you go. Hopefully that helps. You're welcome if it does. So, for the last one up, it's going to be right around this area. And um, once you get here, there's going to be some enemies to take on. It can be a big pain in the nipples, so make sure you come prepared. Just because, you know, the main goal is to get to the bank and they just slow you down. Like, come on, really? Stop chasing me. Stop shooting me. I don't want to deal with you guys. That's that's how I felt anyways when I came here. Anyways, just take on all these enemies or just run past them. And the bank is seriously like right down the road here. You're just going to have to take a right one time. And then from there, straight ahead will be the bank. You'll notice a spotlight on the bank if you come here at night. Anyways, just take out the few enemies here. There will be a legendary raider inside, along with a turret guarding the outside. So, yeah, once you've taken on those pieces of shits, just head up the elevator. And up here will be the next location for the bank robbery we're about to perform. You're going to have to hack another freaking terminal, and this one will be expert. So, the good news here is it's a little lower than the first one, because the first one was master. And now, like I just said, this one is expert. So open up this bad boy and inside you will find plenty of, guess what? Guess what I'm about to say, what normally goes into banks? That's right, money. You'll find money in here. So yeah, just take all the loot and head back to the baseball stadium, aka Diamond City. Once you're here, just pretty much sell out everybody with the pre-war money you just got. Not to mention those freaking gold bars I showed you in the first bank location are worth quite a lot of caps. Hopefully this helps you get rich or die trying. I'm out of here though. Anyways, I'm going to leave a friendly reminder since I'm an asshole and a whore to please remember to leave a like and or a dislike. It's according how you're feeling and what you thought about this video. Overall, though, I hope you liked it. That's my goal out of making these videos for you guys to watch. But I'm out of here. This has been your rifle. As always, remember to stay safe out there, everyone. And, of course, try to stay away from gold diggers. Peace.